Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming, maybe a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, as always, virtually, Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty well. Doing great? Fantastic? You know, it's... Not, not, it's not great, but not mm. warm. No, I'm right in the middle. I'm, chi- I'm chilling. Mm. Lukewarm. <laughs> that, that's a good answer. There you go. <laughs> if you like our shenanigans, and of course you do, you can check us out every single Friday on the podcast service of your choosing and YouTube. If you like that content even more, then don't worry. I have a solution for you. Go over to patreon.com slash easyachievers. You give us the buck that gives you the exclusive Easy Achievers topic every single month also gives you them early as early as we post them if you want to scream at us don't worry you can check out our socials at evm the thousand at crave field skater on the twitters now it's a very slow news week but then some pretty there's some pretty big news though i would say objectively alex are you are you, ty- are you typing in a typewriter from 1958 <laughs> that's you know that it's weird because that's what it sounds like doesn't it yes it's um it's one of the, i have one of those uh razor keyboards and it does mm-hmm. that little clicky noise ah uh, it sounds like and you're it's, typing it's a memoir weird. like uh, like alan wake and it's weird because it's very satisfying to hear that click oh of course it's very it's very sad that's why it's a thing i assume right and then I'm, i was uh, waiting for the ching and then you and then you start again yeah. but that's enough of your yeah. typewriter from 1958 Okay. I have a question. What is your question? What have you been playing? So, I have actually played a good couple things. I'm going to start with the usual, Apex. Of course. Mm-hmm. New season, awesome. awesome. Yeah. I'm you, tearing you up some, out there. Watch out, everyone. Some matches yesterday. Um, then I also started playing Mafia 2. Mmm. That did release, yeah, the well, trilogy. Man. Yes. And I'm, like, I'm having fun with that because yeah. I'm like, I remember playing VS Vita as Vito. I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. I want to go back. I like it too. And then another, yeah. Um, what? Uh, real quick before you get into what you want to actually talk about, are you having any performance okay. issues with this game? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, I've gotten I'm on some. Three, so I've gotten I mean, some odd an hour, an hour. like visual, gl- not not nothing crazy. Some dropped frames. That's about it. I think I crashed okay. once now. I don't even remember. But I think I crashed once, and I'm getting some frame rate issues. Apparently, it it, it can get pretty bad if you have a messed up uh, build. But so far, it's it's not great on my end. But hopefully, they patch it soon. But Alex, what did you want to get into? Sorry about that. I hear puppies. Yes, it was puppies. Uh, <laughs> sorry. If you heard a bunch of scratches at the door, I was like, okay, I have to stop that. <laughs> All right. Um, you, can you, I'm assuming you just asked me a question. Yeah, yeah. What, what did you actually want to talk about? What is the oh, game okay. that came out this week for Mr. Alex? So something came out today at 8 p.m., which yes. is weird because it's supposed to be the initial release date is tomorrow. Mm. Man Eater. Yeah. Eating men. Dude, I've been playing this game. And I am enjoying it. it what do you... Th- just top... Your top level, of course, because we... What, you've played it probably two, three hours. What do you think? Uh, so far, I, dude, I'm having so much fun. Dude, I have... The controls are smooth. The The graphics are pretty pretty nice. And the open worldness is surprisingly, like... Like, like it's good. Like, I thought it was going to be, you know, one little area... swimming around doing a bunch of stuff right um i'm only i only have one pet peeve or not pet peeve but it's just one thing that i'm like eh, i wish it was better um the story it seems like i could finish it really fast because mm. I mean, you saw i'm only uh, i'm only playing two hours maybe and it says story completion is already at 20 uh but so it's, there's it a might lot be... more stuff to do okay like, main story yeah but there's a lot of side quests and collect I saw a quick, a quick like Twitch 
like play play just because I wanted to see what it looked like. There seem to be a lot of side things. Are those just things you go and yes. eat things? Like you, you go and eat like um, fish? Yes. So um, I don't know if anybody's interested. There's a quest to where you got to get or fight, I guess, an alligator or it'll hit, put it on your marker. You got to go swim to it. By the way, the how would you call when you roam around the the world? When you're just swimming? Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I think there's a word for it. traverse. Yeah, when traversing. Traverse yeah, when you're actually traversing yeah. through the world. Yeah. It's for for some reason it's fun. I like I, I just like swimming around. It did look um, cool, especially when you could just jump on a boat and eat a dude. Oh, like, yeah, that's, that sure. seems pretty satisfying. Yeah, I'm just like swimming, and then uh, I'd have to go and, and like fight this. Uh, for example, I'll do an alligator, which is kind of, it's, it's, you know, you would think it'd be like, oh, it's going to be easy. You just, you know, go and bite them and just eat them. It's actually not that simple. Yeah, because um, you're like fighting them, right? Yeah, you have level systems in this game. Um, for example, I was a level, um, I was level three and the alligator was level eight. I kept hitting him and I would not do nothing to him or level two. I think I was, I would, I was like, I, his health was like pinching away. Oh God! <laughs> he hit me. He uh did the little alligator roll thing. Ah. It took like half my health, and I'm like, oh no! So I started swimming away, and he chases you for like a good while. <laughs> like, I had to keep, I had to keep swimming away. And he wants blood. But dude, it's and like I'm just swimming around, and then like one of my quests is like, oh, defeat this alligator. I'm like, I go to it, or there's a cache next to it. I'm like, oh, cache has these materials to help you upgrade. I go to the get the cash. There's a level 15 gator, and I start running away because I'm like, oh god, no. <laughs> well, I'm glad but that you actually it's, seem it's to funny. be liking it. Oh yeah, for sure. M I my want to go back. My worries was actually the the actual game wouldn't be either satisfying enough or the mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't have been well made. But it seems both of those worries have been dashed. It's actually both. Yeah, like I said, like I really thought it was like, oh, you know, the game looks cool. But the controls are going to be like horrific and like it's not going to work right. You're going to want to do this. I think so far has worked. That's good. Yeah. And the, the achievements are pretty nice too. I like them. Easy achievements? Is, is this an easy thousand? Are you going for the thousand? Have you looked that deep into it? Is this an Alex thousand? Um, I haven't looked. I want to. It's, I, don't, I haven't looked that deep into it. But all I know is like, you know, you a certain level. Get all the collectibles. There's collectibles there's, in this? Yes, so there's collectibles. There's where there's little caches, like little boxes under underwater. Three different there's three different types of material that you get, like uh to up upgrade certain powers you get. Like right now I have a power that you start off with. It's like a sonar ability. Uh and uh, you can upgrade that to make it, I guess, the distance more, or like you'll be able to use it better. And then you get, you get, and the upgrades in this, they're called, they're called organs because you're a shark. You get, you can get up to three organs on you. I saw a, I saw the, t uh, I was watching Snowbike Mike on Twitch. He upgraded his teeth to have bioelectricity, which yes. yep, which is exactly awesome. What I was gonna tell you, <laughs> yeah, you can have bioelectricity. You can have like poison fangs. Like it's so weird, like the amount of things you can do with with this game. Um, but it's it is it is really fun. Um, but there's caches, and then there's also um uh license plates that you can get to. Like you gotta like they're like out of the water, so you gotta like have an oxygen bar and uh, you have to like have a, you have a timer right because if not you're running out of box grab you grab the license plate and then you go back i see so you eat cars <laughs> yes, sir. you yeah. just go and munch on a car well actually alex that is a good story i've actually been playing a couple of things too uh, same thing with you apex because usually we're playing apex together of course um th then we went over the mafia stuff more pers persona 5 royal i did, i did take a break uh honestly to just kind of regroup on the persona 5 because i play it i play it basically from beginning to end of regular persona 5 
and now I'm at the actual new content of Royal, and I and so I, I was the like new content. Is- yeah, it's a, it's the very last semester that was originally skipped okay. in the last game. So this is the semester that just gets skipped um, in the regular Persona Five. In this one, you actually play through it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. This is all new content that I'm experiencing right now, and it's pretty cool so far. I like where it's going. And I'm curious on how it will end, but it is very cool. And I think I understand what's going on, like just piecing s- little things together. Um, but yeah, I'll tr- I'll reach back out with my full like review at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, once my I hope finish is this. I will be, be playing more Ma- or Mass Effect, Mafia, and Man Eater the next couple days. That's good. Uh, Ma- Mafia Two, hopefully we'll get some play. I want to actually surprisingly, because uh, I was looking at it because when you buy the trilogy for Mafia. Mafia 3 downloaded mm-hmm. for me, and I didn't stop it because I never played that DLC. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. thinking about going back. It. Yeah, but you, you had issues with the like, game, right? See, my thing is I love the story, but, man, I had so many issues, like, playing. Maybe now is, like, maybe fixed, and maybe I'll have a good time. Like, oh, Doom, the first Doom was. Could not get into it and go back and maybe... Yeah, I get, I get it. I, it's it, it does definitely get repetitive because you do eventually start just doing the same thing over and over again until you beat the game. So I definitely get the get the God, I got to do this again feeling that you have, you eventually get with that game. But I do like the story of the game. The story is really cool, and the aspect of of get having like your mafia bosses and like picking the ones that you want to keep and giving like certain territory to certain bosses depending on like what upgrades you want was really cool to me mm. but alex moving on to some news again light news story today but you know we're gonna really de- uh, delve deep into a couple of these because they're actually pretty big news um so call of duty 2020 is called black ops cold war um, reported on by IGN, the yearly Call of Duty game will be called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The title was posted by Call of Duty leaker Okami on Twitter and backed up by sources of Eurogamer. Eurogamer added that it will return to the series' roots, but didn't specify any specific events or locations. The actual Cold War is seen to have lasted about from 1947 to 1991. No details of the story were talked about whether this will be a sequel or a reboot. Alex, does that excite you at all for a new Call of Duty, especially this one coming out this year? Does that intrigue you at um, all? I think I, mean, I think it's pretty safe to say this is a reboot. Okay. Because I I, I, I just assume so. Up. Uh, yeah, I think I think this is the year of the rebooting of the Black Ops. Which is weird because I mean the first Black Ops was Vietnam, was it not? Not the Cold War, or am I mistaken with the ah, wars and the- that's a good point. What was the book? I want to, out off the top of my head, I want to say Vietnam, just I'm assuming, off yeah, the I'm cuff. Because sure the wasn't the remember, second one, um, and, huh? Wasn't the second one, um, Cold War? Wasn't that it? I don't remember. Hold on, let me check. Well, Black uh, Black Ops Two was more futuristic. Black Ops Two? No, that no, it was yeah, like the sequel to one because. Remember you see that old dude, oh, yeah. uh, was Rakifnov, Reznov. Reznov, there we go, and then you play as like your buddy, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You play, you play as Alex Mason. Yeah, there you go, and that's like the son of the guy, right? No, uh, mm, I don't remember. <sighs> it's been, it's been, it's been a minute. If you guys can't tell, but I'm trying to find. I don't. When was this placed? A plot. Uh, see, in the plot, it's the year 2025. A uh, team led by David Mason and his partner Mike Harper arrive at the vault, and top security location for the for an aging Frank Woods. Frank Woods was in the. According to Woods. So yeah, the David Mason dude, the one who starts seeing. And yeah, he starts going crazy. Yeah, he David is that son of Alex Mason. You f- you figure out you're in the uh you're like been, uh a sleeper agent or something yeah so yeah set in the 1960s or the cold war the game's campaign follows cia operative alex mason where he's recalling certain memories yeah so yeah okay yeah you're right so it was alex mason and then in the sequel it's like a son or something Mm -hmm. 
No, okay, that makes a bunch more sense. So it was during the Cold War. I don't know why I thought Vietnam. I, I dude, I could have swore they said Vietnam too, because I, I thought they said that you know, like in the first one, when you, there's that one mission where those are the Vietnam. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. There, there it is. Uh, who survived the grenade explosion in Vietnam with Woods and interrogate? Yeah, there's a there's a mission that you go to Vietnam. Oh, okay, third. that makes more sense. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, because you see it right here. Yeah, the locations feature. Oh, yeah, Cuba. I remember when you go to Cuba, and then Hong Kong, yeah. Laos, that was, Vietnam. Not, that was a that was a cool uh, cool uh, thing. Yeah, there, I mean, I think Black Ops One, pre, I think it has an underrated single player campaign. It was pretty good. Finding out that mind. you've been in like a sleeper this whole time, that was that was cool. I wouldn't mind get that one and War That War getting a remaster. Wow, War That War. I mean, wasn't that World War Two technically? Oh, I see what you mean. You yes. want the actual game again? Yes, the game. Well, I see. I, dude, I love the multiplayer for War That War. War That War <laughs> was good. And the Bouncing Betty. Too many Bouncing Betties, man. Too many Bouncing Betties. They're yeah, everywhere. But all oh, you had yeah. to do, uh, all you had to do was get, get, was it crouched or prone to dodge the bouncing Betty? Uh, I think it was prone. Is it prone? Okay, yeah. I remember you had to like get on, like get on the ground and you would dodge it. I just didn't remember how. I don't remember. But that's that's good. That's good. Call of Duty twenty twenty. Hopefully it's good. Um, I loved the last year's. I mean, the, last year's was awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was so so much fun. We yeah. Still play, I mean, we played it, but all still. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Moving. Moving on to some PS5 news. PS5 October release date listing was an error, says Sony. Um, I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. saw this, but over the week, there was a quote-unquote leak that, that uh, through a job listing uh, that suggested that it would release in October. But the company uh, has stated this month it was included in error. The PS5 is not confirmed for a launch in October. And the final release date or even release window is still unknown at this point. We'll have to wait for an official word from Sony to learn what the console will launch. Sony saying that it has plans to share details on PS5 launch games that could come relatively soon. And just for some fun facts, the job listing was created for a position at Sony Interactive Entertainment and hosted on a Japanese recruitment website. The line in question mentioned that the PlayStation 5 would launch in October, which is the first mention of the exact released month for Sony's next generation console. Japanese publication Famatsu contacted Sony for comment, who stated that the information was erroneously included by the recruitment company in question. What a weird thing. Most likely it's nothing. I want to put on the tinfoil hat, Alex. I want to. I really do. I want to be like, how, what, it just, it's so, it just so happens to be October, and they just so happen to put in a launch month. But most likely, it's it's nothing. I I'm, I feel like most likely it is gonna be October. Cause I um, I do think it has a good chance of being October, oh, but I do don't think it? that's because of this. So I mean, there's been a couple of leaks of certain things being in October and saying they're gonna be released titles. Mm -hmm. What do you think of my theory? I don't think we've ever we've really talked about this, but what do you think that? A lot of uh, the October, like this, our, the big launch is going to be October, and then a lot of these games are moving to October to like su suffice that. Are we getting like a crazy launch October with so many games? Because I think that's why Assassin's Creed Valhalla hasn't mentioned a release date yet, because I feel like it's going to be. I have a feeling they want to, but I think they're also scared of everything coming out too close to each other. That's and true. Pretty much drunk. That's that is that is a good point, and you don't want too imagine, much of the same thing coming out too. Oh god, I imagine if you know the same po uh, same, you know, for example, PlayStation brings out. Uh, now I'm not saying they will, but you know, for example, imagine Spider Man on the first week of October, then on the second or third week of October uh, is God of War. I mean, like that's too close. Mm -hmm, that's true. It's almost like releasing Last of Us Part Two in June, and then Ghost of Tsushima in July is super strange. Yeah, <laughs> that is so weird. I still can't get over that. I mean, that's a month apart. I wouldn't. I I don't mind that, but like if it a month, I feel like that. Yeah, I guess a, a month is a, a substantial time for most people, but it's just so strange. You never. I feel like we never see it, especially from Sony that that get such close no, no, games, especially sure. when they want. Uh, both of them to succeed as well. Of course, they want Last of Us to see more because it's Last of Us Part Two. Yeah. Um, Oh, I can't wait, man! It's next month. It's so close. It, I can see it. I, I can see. I can see it. I can taste it. I can feel it, and it's it's right there. 
it's right there, Alex. We'll be able to play Last of Us Part 2. It looks amazing. It's going to look amazing on HDR TV as well. And so I'm excited about that. I can't wait for that. Can't wait. Valorant will be publicly available in June. Valorant, the incredibly popular and highly sought after game, will be exiting its private beta. The game will launch as free to play June 2nd. For those who may have missed, Valorant is a 5v5 tactical shooter, a la Counter Strike Go mixed with some light Overwatch style abilities. So, yeah, you, that will be available June 2nd for anyone interested in Valorant. I won't be able to play that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I, uh,. I literally tried playing CSGO on my computer, and it couldn't even run CSGO. Oh, that's crazy. Now, yeah, that's now I will say Valorant, they said they made Valorant to be able to be run on a lot of stuff. So maybe it'll oh, run? I don't but know. The same, but it's also CSGO. You saw CSGO has like almost all, no graphics, and I put it on the lowest thing, and it was still lagging. <laughs> it was freaking out. No, I, I get it, and uh, there is still a lot of connectivity going on, too, so it's not like they can... No, for sure. Turn it down that much, but it is it is exciting. Um, the like I said, the beta is ending and they are wiping progress. But you of course get to keep your uh, unlockable things from the beta, like the charms and the skins and things like that. So, did you ever get access to the beta? Oh no, no, no! I wasn't as lucky. I was so into it for like three yeah. weeks. Like I was super into it, and then eventually I was like, ah, I can't. I can only watch so much because I want to play it, and I just stopped. Mm-hmm. and now i'm just i didn't get to watch any of it it's gonna be out like june 2nd so i can just play it regularly with everyone else so i'll just wait till then yeah because it's on it's on p it's pc right yeah it's just pc they talked console so hopefully eventually it comes to xbox um i would assume mm-hmm. it would come to xbox before everything else be, just because it's it, that's what uh, yeah. competitive shooters tend to go is, is xbox but hopefully it comes to consoles within a year or two i could see but, um, I mean, Xbox and PC can connect more than PlayStation, I assume. I, I Yeah, me just assuming I would think so, too, but I'm not going to pretend like I even know that. Exactly. Alex, that is enough of the news. Of course, like I said, that was a light news day, but I do have a question before we end out the whole show. It is a broader topic, and we, of course, always reach out to you guys for your feedback and thoughts on this. So don't be afraid to leave a comment or tweet at us your thoughts. Also, of course, you can go to Patreon and uh, do a full post. We'll for sure talk to you about. But Alex, how big is too big for a game? And what I mean by that is Assassin's Creed Valhalla was brought up a bunch of questions from a lot of people, right? Is Odyssey too big? Is Assassin's Creed Odyssey too big? And what I mean by that is when they're when you're when you're in your ship, you're 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 sailing around. You're going to these islands. You you're having to depart to to sail around half a map is that too much do you not like that what what are your thoughts on a game being too big can a game be too big can it be too egregious can it be too small what yes. what, what makes you think what 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 is your thoughts about so, this so i enjoyed assassin's creed odyssey like it has a special place in my heart me but too some of those places man like some of those islands were not needed really like, I, if it was if it was the size uh-huh. of black flag i would have been even more i was i would have been content mm, okay uh, like it like it's it, like it's good and i enjoy it mm-hmm. but i feel like there was too much to do like i know for your for example i know platinum did which is nuts um i didn't get even get close to finishing any i did so much to do and i was like yeah yeah i i just couldn't well, so what about it? Did what, do you remember where you did you finish the game? I don't remember. No, no, yeah, I finished the game. I was doing the Atlantis DLC, but I never finished that. Gotcha. Okay. Now, what do you? Uh, so when you say it was too big, was it the sailing? Was it the actual running? Was it what? Well, what was specific the thing? Sailing. There was a lot of water. There, I mean, there was. Like, I know. It, I mean, I know they was trying to be, you know, more, you know, I guess they're trying to make it more traverse to where, like, you can, uh, much time. But I, I, I just, to me, I would have, I, I wouldn't mind. Um, like, I like the ships and stuff like that. I just don't, uh-huh. I don't love it. I get it. Something about preparing for, like, a full sail off was very um appealing to me i liked that aspect of the game 
I would I do understand some people not liking it, but I liked yeah. kind of like playing like oh there's this island I need to go to let me go get the boat ready and like sail off and fight some ships on the way because I, I I obsess over the ship combat and I don't I don't, honestly don't know why I like it so much, but I for yeah, some I reason it. like it a lot. And see, I like it. And I loved it in Black Flag because it was the first time I was introduced, and I like I did the hell out of it. The so cannons like, were dope. Oh uh, yeah, the cannons. I do think that's a di- I do think that's a difference. The thud of a cannon hitting something and arrows is just different. And see, my, that's my thing. I, during that time, I go into it, but I think and I feel like I'm for it already. To where like just give me a one Assassin's Creed fresh start. But like if Odyssey didn't have that. Uh, and this one did, then I would have, and then I mean, I'd be super excited about it because I'm like, oh, the ships are back. But it's every Assassin's Creed has ships now to where I'm like, oh, he, uh, do, is this going to be a th- uh, like to work the same way? Hmm. Now, yeah. would you care? Even, my wife just said, even Kingdom Hearts has ships. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. That is a good point. There are a lot, there's a lot of ships, a lot of water too. What do you, would if there was less this is a weird question i guess if there was less water would you care like if it was more land to run around was is that more appealing (sighs) similar to egypt in assassin's creed origins of course there's no water in that game um and you know i do that and it's crazy because i don't i guess it depends i guess it all depends in origins all i did was just run i was just like going to run I was on a camel a lot. Dude, for that time being, I was, uh, when that game came out, it was, it was a whole new Assassin's Creed. Like, the gameplay was different. The mechanics. I didn't mind it. But, but now, I'm like, mm. if, 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 I, like, if I had to think about it, I feel like, yes, Odyssey was a little too big. Um, if, it, if they would have brought, so if you, if you can think of the map right now, how it was right now. Uh-huh. Uh, if you ima- imagine it, I feel like that you take off maybe that bottom corner of those all those islands. And yeah, the, the corner, yeah the yeah the the and and and, and uh, that or all the water that's like in the middle or around those islands and, and shorten it so bring everything closer. I would have been fine. Just like make the map a little smaller. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Just, and like, I feel like and it take me too long. I would know. I definitely, I definitely understand it, and it is important to note uh, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla team did mention this all started because at the very beginning they did state that the game will be smaller because uh, most people did had your actual uh, complaints about the game that there is it's just too big, it's it's unwieldy to get around, and it takes forever. I feel like to actually get to something. Um, yeah. But then I another love, dev, the game, like... and, and then another dev came out and said it's it's bigger. So it's not. Yeah, so it's pretty confusing on what it. We'll have to. I'm just, at this point. I'm like, all right. Wh- I need to see the game, because we might be getting into marketing talk where they're like, no, no, it's bigger. It's. It's. I swear, there's more content. So, whatever. Well, I'll see it when it I comes really, out. I really, I really love Norse mythology and Vikings and stuff. So this one is probably will pop. Like even if they if it's through it. I'll, I'll love it anyway, just because I'm biased and I like. I mean, I'm, I'm just excited way. to dual wield axes. I've said that like eight times on this podcast. I just want to shove an axe in someone's face. Imagine if you could throw it like Kratos. You oh, like Kratos? No, you can throw it. It looks like they no, they. No, I know sh- you could throw it. Okay. And catch it back. Oh, that would be <laughs> dude. That would be sick. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, oh, I got excited. Quick thing. You remember how in Origins? I don't know why they did it. You might know, but they had that Final Fantasy Easter egg. <laughs> yeah. That thing when you got. The, do you, would you think that would they ever put um, a God of War Easter egg in this one? I would love to, but it wouldn't be like one to one like it was with Final Fantasy because it was literally a Final Fantasy cutscene played in the game. It was pretty. No, no, it yeah, was pretty no. strange. But I think in God of War, they'll be like a wink and a nod. Like they'll talk. Um, maybe a a cr- like the the name Kratos will be like said. The, the name Kratos, yeah. yeah, but I don't think to um, much of a degree. Maybe yeah, I, I, say, I could oh, see a. It was an Olympian who killed all the gods and came to came to our land or something like that. That'd be. 
maybe eh, maybe there might be a drawing or something like i don't think it would be anything yeah. cr- I, I don't think we're getting it would be dope if we walked like and saw the axe before. somewhere but that's too much oh, i think yeah, that's too be- much probably yeah the axe or the chains mm-hmm. i don't know because i mean it is a sony right yeah yeah they can they can, unless they get a specific permission they can only say so much about it but it would be awesome if if you get uh or you know we know we get tattoos if you if you can get kratos like tattoos that'd be dope oh like the like the one that goes across his eye and yeah or or something like that like it just goes like the just the arm one or something that'd be cool that'd be I'm dope. excited dude yes i'm very excited for Val- valhalla uh is there is there a chance you don't like valhalla Let's say it is as big as Odyssey. Do you think that is enough to turn you off on the game, or you're like said, you're I sold think, enough? I think I'm sold enough just because I'm being. The culture is, and I'm hoping. But if it's not, then I'm still gonna bear with it. I'm just there's no way I'm planning. <laughs> I I understand that. Yeah, there's like that. Like I love it. No way I'm doing everything though. So I I definitely I mean, who get knows? that. It's it's I mean it's supposed to be in holidays. We don't know what we're getting during the holidays. It could be I might have time to play that's, it and that's I true. might just do everything. That's true. That's true. I'm very curious how much of the because they did mention ship combat. I'm very curious on how much because it's not like the Vikings were in giant man of wars fighting each other. They were in longboats. So I'm curious if you're gonna like hijack a ship at all or if it's just gonna be like you you sail to like a little part of the the island and fight something i don't know i mean then you saw what they did with i mean greeks and rome and the you know and the spartans and stuff they did the big ships still yeah but that was that happened though it yeah, probably wasn't so. that i don't know how well they were so but I, it, it didn't work timelines go ahead is this bef- is this before or after this would be after this is 900 uh ad it's not too much after okay, so surprisingly after. but but it is after yeah. it's it's mm-hmm. 900 and this is after um okay. after that so this how close it is for the first game like in timeline what to origins or assassin's creed the, one the first game assassin's creed oh one. oh uh assassin's creed one was a, I, I, was it bc was it it was before was it before the actual christ like so it would be i feel like i, I just off the top of my head it's like 900 bc go. or something like that it's, or eight or 500 I, I think it's I close think got a timeline for yeah, yeah yeah i want to see this uh, it doesn't show me all of them. Um, the first game was before 1000. Oh, it doesn't show me. Uh, it's a bad. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is 47 BCE. That's the earliest okay, one. Yeah. So do you? I do, so do you enjoy how when you ch- you click on a picture and then it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't like open up. <laughs> it's super short. It's small. It, it, like, no, so it opens, but it doesn't get any bigger. It's like, what is the point yeah, of this? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking. Oh my god. This one went really in depth. This the the fandom wiki has mm. the literal timeline of the entire game. Uh, sorry, the entire series. So things we don't even yeah. see, we just see like pictures of they actually put it put this down it's pretty wild i'm trying to find okay okay oh, yeah this is all uh um assassin's creed the first game it was between it was uh, 1191 dc uh that's this it says siglo 12 i don't know what that is uh let's see i'm not i'm not understanding it is <laughs> okay black flag was 1715 I forgot they said Jesus Christ had a uh, a piece of Eden. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was crucified, and then they put put the thing on his face, and that I guess that's what brought him back to life. But it's pretty, it's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's so many. It's hard to go through all. I definitely things. found the most complicated way of finding it. Oh, I think I just found the hit. Yeah, I found the hidden ones. Yeah, no, there's ones that had, like, even the books. Like, this, uh, the one I found, he was even adding the books. Okay, so Assassin's Creed 1 was around 1176, I think. 
Yeah. Oh, here we go. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 431 BC. Origins was between 49 BC and 43 BC. Valhalla is 873 AD. Um, and then uh, Assassin's Creed One is 1191. So it's 1191. Yeah. So I was right. I was right. As in right now, I'm looking at the timeline. I see it right here. Yep. And that fall. So yeah, that follows it. So it's right before Altair and all that, which is kind of cool. Not not right before. It's 300 years it's before. 300. But. <laughs> I mean, because it was just Altair Chronicles, which is 1190, and that, but that was it so far that we know. I'm curious on how they'll talk about the Hidden Blade, right? Yeah, because he has it. Mm-hmm. And what's his? Who was? What was his? Uh, not Xerxes. What was his name? The uh, the guy from Odyssey, the the assassin, the like first assassin, basically. Oh God! I for- yeah, no, I know who you're talking about. I forgot his name. I don't remember his name now. But he he uh, didn't he make it? Didn't he say he made it or something? Or wasn't he the he was yeah he was the first one I know. Mm-hmm. So how did he get from him and Bayek and all that to to that? I wonder. I, I wonder we'll if see. they'll talk about that. And I wonder if we'll have a quote unquote assassin creed. You know, I wonder if there'll be like a brotherhood any or any talk of that. Well, the creed was already formed in uh in the first game, and I'll tell you this thing. Yes, yeah, that was already technically a thing, yeah. Because, I mean, in Origins, they showed technically the Creed already being built. Was yeah, that and that was before thing? they were the Assassins, right? That was, They were the, just the Hidden Ones, I think. Hidden Ones. So they were tech, that was technically before that. God, this timeline is <laughs> this timeline's wild, dude. <laughs> Enough about the Assassin's Creed official oh, timeline. Assassin's- uh but uh, of course we're still excited alex you're still excited oh yeah for sure i've always loved assassin's creed i never had one to where i hated i even i even enjoyed three i enjoyed but three I, like, especially when you get past the garbage in the beginning where it just lasts five hours nice. before you fight the something time. cool I mean, yeah the time you, period uh, experience cool. you know you experience the boston massacre which that was is, dope I mean, you know it's brutal but yeah i mean it's in and then you get to, and then the, seeing like the the wars and stuff was really cool, like the little battles of people shooting each other, so cool. And then the uh, the I don't know if you ever played it, but the DLC was really cool for that too, the King Washington stuff. Oh yeah, the the, the ty- tyranny of King tyranny Washington. of King Washington. Yeah, that was that was cool. You could turn into like a bear and fight people. Mm-hmm. All right, Alex. Enough of Assassin's Creed. I'm excited for it as well, and I and cannot wait. It's a day one by, of course, from us. So we can't be more excited. But Alex, that's enough of our full-on news and our topic. But before we leave the audience, I want to bring back a segment that has been on and off, of course. It's been a long time since we've done it. Um, and it's yeah. going to be a slight change on the topic. Um, if you uh, long-time achievers will know that uh, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had one that was a segment called Shit Elijah Saw on Twitter. And I always show like a funny thing or some random thing I saw on Twitter that I wanted to share. This segment is shit Alex saw on Twitter. Oh no. Alex. What did I see him? Do you remember what you sent me yesterday? Uh You don't. Scientists. Oh, this is over on IGN by the way. Oh. Scientists yeah, yeah. claim evidence of parallel universe where time runs backwards. This is a very wild article. Please read it. Um I won't we won't go into full uh, aspects apparently. There is a uh, hold on. I I, I want to read the specific part. Okay, so according to New York Post via the Daily Star, scientists conducting cosmic ray detection experiments in Antarctica have uncovered what they believe is evidence of a parallel universe where the laws of physics differ from our own. They reportedly detected high energy particles rising out of Antarctica, which is contrary to how these particles are supposed to behave since they're supposedly only able to be detected when they come down from space. Quote, to detect a heavier particle, a tau neutrino, coming up out of Earth would imply these particles are actually traveling backwards in time, according to the Daily Star. Scientists believe such a parallel universe would be the result of the Big Bang over 13 billion years ago, where not only was our universe formed, but this parallel one as well. Now this is, again, some wild stuff. (laughs) This is some pretty crazy stuff. And I read into it. I love I love crazy science stuff, especially when you just you get to the craziest hypothesis. 
Um, yeah. And he does end with a very, uh, not in this article, but the original one I read. He ends the article very astutely with, either this is either this is the most exciting thing or the most boring thing. If we actually figure out, like, it's a just a boring physics thing that we can figure out later on. But yeah, I just wanted cool. to bring that to people's attention. That is a thing. Please go read it. It is awesome. I read the whole thing like five times to try and understand what was going on. I think I understand uh, like 20%, 50% of it. So I think it's I get like it, but it's cool. Yes, it is, it is an episode of The Twilight Zone for sure. <laughs> Malix, if you're in this parallel timeline, wh- wh- what year would you go to? That is the question. So you're you're traveling backwards in time, right? Let's say everything's the same for lack of being super weird about it. But what what what's the year come to your mind that you'd go to, to like experience? Right. You know, I've always and it's weird because I have infatuation with pirates. I've always want to go back to that time, mm. but I'm scared to death of having, of getting scurvy. I mean, yeah, you're only eating bread and meat. You're not really getting the great vitamins, so you're probably getting scurvy. Yeah. And this is ignoring, of course, the lame stuff that, like, oh, uh, yeah, we won't have toilets and running water, so it, life's going to suck, but we get to see it. That or the Renaissance. Like Renaissance the Renaissance is, is, a go, is a great go-to. Great go-to. You could just bang everyone in Renaissance uh, uh, yeah. Italy, which is that's what Elijah goes to. Just yeah. Oh yeah, everybody. oh yeah, dude. They had they had or, the they had orgies in the street. Like you, you, like you gotta visit it once, right? It's like going to uh, I think it's um, ah, oh, what's the name of the place? Oh, I don't remember. It's it's a uh, it's like going it's like Come not it's like going to Vegas and not going to like some crazy like nightclub. Like you gotta you gotta walk by and see it. Okay, I thought you were talking about that one Colosseum place that you have dinner and you can see the people jousting. <laughs> oh, that's a good one though. That's a good one. Rome. Remember, Rome. Uh, you know, well, you know, yeah. You get to go watch some people fight lions and get mauled to death while people cheer for their oh, their lives. That's a, that's a good one. I just thought about Spart uh, uh, during the Spartan times. Are like, you uh, remember in the, the show Spartacus? Okay, so Spartacus, not like three hundred Sparta. Yeah, like a, it's like around the same time. Oh, I see. Okay, so you get to kind of okay. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I love Spartacus. Is an the underrated show. Is all the all the uh, like all like not even not even gonna doubt it, dude. All the men were like fit as hell. Oh God, yes. Well, they had to be, or they would uh, be murdered. That's all they had. Yeah. They would straight up get murdered and thrown away as babies. So. <laughs> Fed to like a lion. Uh, I um I first one that comes to my mind is. 1776 just to see the begin the the i want to see the beginning and the end of the american revolutionary war like i want to see wh- how everything's going down and then i want to see uh the actual like ending it's federalist so papers quick, all that stuff what and it's and it's one for the audience as well and i'm sure everybody's gonna say they would but would you if you would pick any of these timelines you did and would you erase all your memories and relive everything as everything was new or would you keep all your memories mm. coming but you can't say anything mm. that's a good question that's a good that's a good one now that brings up a whole I, a whole nother thing am i immortal in this scenario or am i going to die in this timeline or do i get to revert back to this that's a good one too like I like I feel like that's an important question because if I'm immortal and for instance I just use the time period and then I leave it, I would for sure say yeah I keep my I keep my my brain like I, I keep my brain. If I'm living my own life there, for sure go for the mind wipe. <laughs> I'm gonna miss toilets. I'm gonna miss toilets and I'm gonna miss showers. So for sure wipe my brain. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good point. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one I would keep. Like oof, Alex, you're oh, gonna miss actually, toilets and instant ramen. You you pick brain wipe. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. You can go. You can go back in time to your favorite time period. Okay. And, um, damn it, I had it. Um, uh, you you keep. Hmm. 
you keep your memories. Okay. You're not immortal. So you okay. do eventually wind up dying. Okay, so or, you die in this time period. Yes. Yeah, or you know, well, I guess you do get brain wiped and you live and you're immortal. Which I don't mm. know if it would make sense. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of a good way to. No, no, I get it. I get it. I, I'm with you. I, I like, I like the. Hmm. I'm very good because it's the difference of experiencing this timeline or just looking like through a window and looking at like how things are going down. Yeah, and that's how I feel like because I feel like if you're immortal, you're just looking at through a window. You're not actually living it. Yeah. Because you can just wait by and you you know you don't die. You. I'm just picturing like me like in a bush, <laughs> like looking at things going down. Uh, like George Washington looks over and is like, "Is that dude over there in a, staring at me in a bush?" Like, just go back to what you were doing. Right. <laughs> I'm just watching stuff, all right? <laughs> don't be, don't movie. make it weird. You'll watching, watch, you still have a book. You, you'll be watching George Washington sign the Twitter. <laughs> I'll be trying to take a picture, and, and they're going to be like, what is that? And then I'll run. Yeah, they're going to think you're like, they're going to catch you because you don't know what the hell that is. They, they think you're <laughs> like a form of spy. Or <laughs> Probably. What is this? I, I, a runner up, I feel like, is the Wild West. That would be cool, mm-hmm. even though it, it's it, it's lawless, not in the I, fun way. It's in like the see, murder I, way. Okay, because I was going to say, I don't know if I can handle horse shit, horse shit all the time. <laughs> that just being your life. <laughs> Dude, that, that thing, those things reek. They, they, it's not pleasant. Horses aren't, they don't smell well. Especially when you don't have yeah. running water to clean them. You just push them in a river. Like it's not, it's not, I don't know. Like, I like the whole style of Red Dead, you know, around that time. But, like. Hmm. But, yeah. Anything else? That's. That's it. I, I, I like I said. I think I go with seventeen seventy six, and then like Italy Renaissance is another good one. And then after that, it, it, life just keeps getting suckier, suckier. I think I cut, I cut it around there. Yeah, Egypt would be a good one because I just want to see how they made the pyramid. Oh God! I mean, just don't be part of that because you know. That was, that was... <laughs> just hi- again hiding in a bush. I'm hiding in a bush. <laughs> just looking she's like oh that's how they did it and the guy's totally. like what are you doing <laughs> Dude, they, oh, and then you run Amp, just like ants just like <laughs> all right that on that note this has been your easy achievers podcast for the week of may 22nd alex thank you for joining me thank you for having me anytime now if you liked these shenanigans and I talk of other realities and then instantly change to into time traveling, you can go over to patreon.com slash CJ Achievers. You can give us a dollar. That gives you, of course, like I said before, an exclusive every single month. And you can get things early through different tiers, mm-hmm. of course. If you like to scream at us about our opinions, you can, of course, go to Twitter at EVM9000 at CravySubSkater. Make sure you leave a comment. Leave us a question, comment, concerns, thought, or idea. You can also post that on Patreon to get a guaranteed read. And remember, Alex will say anything you put on there. Anything. Any Coward. All right? Cowards. But on that note. <laughs> I'm right type shitting in a biscuit. <laughs> Shit in a bit. Yep. That, and he'll say it. Look, he's just said it. He gave you a freebie that time. Hey, no more freebies. Yes, <laughs> no more freebies. Always. You understand? <laughs> and on that note of shitting in a biscuit. Go achieve in biscuits. Achieve.